other venue like it. Welcome inside the Grand Theater. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Joe Joyce, a massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall, so much height behind this guy. And his opponent, smoking Joe Frazier, only six feet tall, even. 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man alive. Remember, there's a shorter reach here, so now they have to slip inside and use the speed, use the box melee, and that timing to time off the long jab that comes in to jump over the top. It's about skills now. Skills will pay the bills. It is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, one of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. He is smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles with Muhammad Ali, perhaps the most famous the sport has ever seen. Oh, pure bad blood. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Hiding out of the blue corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina, the Hall of Famer from the golden era of heavyweights, a heavyweight champion of the world, Smoking Joe Frazier. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. Todd, all I can say, heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Good counter right hand again. He gets out of the way of that left hand. eye on this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far a win is not just a win for some fighters they need to feel the blood the crunch they need to get that win nice exchanges from both men in this round they're so close so close how can you separate them it's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way good counter punching for both these athletes big left there but misses a very competitive round with 10 seconds left It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fight. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Beautiful counterpunch. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit him on the blind side of the referee. Get him out of This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. 
thought we were going <laughs> What a shot that put him down. Will he make it back to his feet? They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Nice counter shot with the right hand. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Nice counter punch. a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knock. On to the third. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Great counter right hand there. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fists. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Right hand just misses. Quick punch scores. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Punch, counter punch. He is down big time on the scores. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Landed. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Good left hand. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Punching for both. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. And there's the bell to start round five. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Miss with that jab. Nice job landing that left counter punch. How 
how nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating, it just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. He misses with that jab. Good left counter that lands. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. On to the sixth round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Nice counter. and forth they go. They exchange punches. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? You know, you've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, by ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with... He caught him big time! Let's see how good he is defensively. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. This is a high-octane battle. a counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you put and you know in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Missed him with that uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counter scores. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs a... Round eight, and we're off again. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Nice punch. 
counter left hand there. That left counter was perfectly timed. Still swinging with nothing left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell every second, every minute of this fight. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Well, they got battered last round, but how do they turn their fortunes around? Give us a second to catch our breath. That counter shot lands. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't kind of think him. You've just got to be smart with him. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket him. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with the left uppercut. He got out of the way of that right hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, by ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And there's the bell to start round 10. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Good counter punching. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Ah! 
That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, go into low. And there's the bell for round 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Do you believe what we're seeing? Good counter punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. Don't know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. Like this fighter did not work on defense his training camp. These two were made for each other. Nice counter shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And there's the bell to start round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Perfect counter shot. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. That left hand misses. Insane action. And a counter left. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they went out of steam. I think it's safe to... A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The three judges agree and we've got a unanimous decision. They've done it before, now they're doing it again and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result.